In today's video, we're going to be putting pens in a washer. Guys, I don't know if you have ever had this problem, but when I leave pens in my pockets, they tend to explode consistently every single, every single time. Just like that. Just like that. I have ruined so many pairs of clothes, so many t-shirts, so many shorts by leaving pens in my pocket or having them make their way into the washer growing up. Here's the basic idea. Today we're going to put 100 pens in a washer and see if we can tie-dye our white t-shirts with them. I'm going to do a little brag right here. I have never ruined any sort of clothing with pens. I'm impressed. Never. I'm very impressed because I have several, several times. So. We have some white t-shirts and an assortment of pens. Different brands, different colors. We try to keep it consistent with our black and red pens being a certain brand and then our blue pens being a certain brand also. And then our colorful ones, of course, are paper mates. So we're going to see which pens explode the most all over our white t-shirt and which ones do not explode that you might be safe getting a load of laundry completed with. So fun fact, I love pins. They are my favorite. Kevin What'd makes fun of the way I make say pins. Pins? Like you write with these, you don't stick them in things. Pins, pens are all kind of the same thing. I call them pins, but these are my favorite. Like 10 out of 10. I love them. So I'm excited to see if these explode at all or if they uh don't do anything. They don't do anything. I'd like to see them not do anything because I'm notorious for leaving pins in my pocket. Some of these I'm also like taking out um, just to see if like there's any difference if we take them out or not. There's just <laughs> springs down in the washer, like <laughs> literally taking apart the pen. I feel like the whole pen just deserves to be in there. I'm just going to try snapping a few in half. So we'll good idea, good idea. take this and take a look at it. So these ones are like the ones that I believe Nate and Kelly extracted all of the pen ink from. Which, bless their hearts. So we're just going to put in just this because these ones are definitely a lot different. Oh yeah. Than this. That's so way pull different. This off. Or even this one. So we've got two very different ink styles. I'm very interested to see how this goes. Hopefully we'll have some cool tie dye and then you know that you can tie dye your stuff with a uh, pen ink. And we're going to wash Boom. these on a full cycle. So something that you would do. We're also going to put some detergent in here so that our stuff smells good. Um, I also tried to do a little bit of research on which pens would work best in a washer. Or worse. Or worse. <laughs> and, um, you know, I really found nothing. All I found was how to get stains and pen ink out of clothing. Do you know how to do that, actually? Fun facts? Pens and ink out of clothing? Clothing, yes. I bring it to the dry cleaners and say, hey, I got a stain. Can you take care of this for me? Well, I don't do that. Instead, I use hairspray, actually. What? Yes, hairspray pulls out ink from clothing. So what you do is you spray hairspray on there and then you dab a paper towel and the ink comes right out and transfers. More. Yeah. All right, so our shirts are loaded in, our pins are loaded in. I have got some Tide Pods. What? You got Tide Pods, but what's over there? What? <laughs> Why do you have so much detergent? <laughs> Because I really liked my clothes to smell good. So we're going to add two Tide Pods. And then I'm also going to add a little bit up here I for the liquid detergent. I feel like we might just actually be cleaning the ink out of our clothes at this point. No, just like a little cup, like the pre-rinse cycle. We're cleaning it from Nate and Callie's uh, ramen noodle we have fiasco. Like, we have like six, seven shirts in there, and we have put <laughs> enough detergent <laughs> for three loads. No, we have not. Each one of those pods, this pod right here, this is one load of laundry. No, I use two per like. There's seven shirts in here. I know, they're gonna smell really good. I think that's everything. So two hours and five minutes later, we're gonna find out if we've got any stains or not. Cool, push the button. Ready? Push the button. Set, go. And the horses are underway. Go shirts, go. Go shirts, go. Go shirts, go. She's very enthusiastic. This is very lackluster in terms of like, ooh. I don't think so. I think it's fantastic. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. 
Something we discussed with Nate that I think will be very interesting is the difference between these type of washers. So front loading ones, they spin this way. Um, we're intrigued to see if this one that is spinning vertically and has its force pushing outwards, if that is going to make a difference rather than it flipping over itself going this way. So we will see if that has any difference. Um, I don't think it will. I think that pin ink is going to explode either way and that we are going to have some beautiful tie-dyed shirts. I'd be here for two hours. Drum roll. Bow! Ah! You guys, it worked! Check it out, some of them exploded. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and, yeah. Oh, the red looks cool. <gasps> wow! All right, pull out a shirt. Okay. Okay, it's just got little tiny <laughs> dots all over it. And they are all a shade of like blue. It's and like pink a, down here, there's some pink. We got some nice bright blotches. Like overall, the shirt is blue. All right, it's been a blue tint. Yeah. Like same here. Blue tint, and then it's just like small ink blotches. This one is blue also, with some splotches, which is what I kind of expected would happen because this is what happens when pins explode is they leave splotches all over the place. Like you see, we still have a little bit of actual white. That is the color of the shirt, how it's supposed to be. This one has, oh! Oh, that's a nice sleeve. Look at the sleeve of this guy. That's nice. This is so fun. The sleeves for some reason have really done the best. Like that looks That's very interesting. super cool. Let's see Ooh. what we got. Oh, oh, fantastic. Yes, washing machine. The black turned a very interesting uh, brown color. This purple has some very, very vibrant blue in it and you can see like that it bled out. And All then right. of course we have our- uh, Our T-Core shirt. It did pretty well. It's got some fun little colors. There are a few things here and there. It doesn't have that really cool like purple blue that we were seeing on some of the other ones, unfortunately. But it does have some orange. This definitely had to be black because you can see the blue, the yellow, the red, all dispersing out. Yeah. You definitely don't get large volume. I think you could do another cycle and maybe you would see um, some more color pop out of these pens potentially. Because um, I mean, not all of them are exploded. Like some of them, I'm gonna open up this one, this purple, for example. So many You can pens see in that. that the ink was drained from it, and this is one of the ones that we left like intact. There is stains in <laughs> this washer, is, yep. actually. All right, so we got the red, we got black, and then as we go around, you can just see that there's more stains. Here's another patch. Oh, that's a big one. Of red and black. I am very, very pleased. Yeah. Um, we were very nervous and skeptical. I think this was definitely our- That's probably the best one. Our best one. For sure, it's got the most color. Yep. It's really got them bright blue patches and the purple, and the green. Yep. This one definitely worked the best. Um, 10 out of 10. If there's anything else you guys want to see us do with the washing machine, pins, clothes, tie-dyeing, please let us know in the comments below. We would love to do your videos. Hey friends, make sure you hit that subscribe button right down there. That way you never miss out on any of our content and you always are up to date on new adventures.